Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I read this amazing book, Sweep, by Jonathan Oxier. Holy smokes, we're gonna talk about it. You ready? Let's go. I'm guessing that if you read enough books, you have some favorite authors. And if you have some favorite authors, I'm guessing that like all of the authors are kind of in your mind, maybe as like a mountain of like amazingness. And like as you get to the top, like your favorite authors are there. And then down a little bit are some authors that you love so much. And, you know, like authors, I don't know, I have like this mountain in my head of all of these authors that I love. And in this book, I feel like Jonathan Oxier climbs higher on my mountain. I feel like his books just are phenomenal. I believe this is his fourth middle grade novel. I've read three of them. I need to read the fourth because everything that I've read by him, I find myself just captivated by his storytelling instantly. Within two or three pages of Sweep, I was all in. I was completely captivated. I felt like I was reading Kate D. Camillo's The Tale of Despero for the first time. I just thought, holy smokes. This is just, I don't even know what he's doing. Like I don't understand writing enough to like know what exactly he's doing with like those letters and words and then sentences and paragraphs and chapters and the whole, I don't, I don't really get right. I'm, I'm not like an expert at that, but you can just tell, like you can instantly tell. And as I read it, I just kept falling more and more in love with this book. And Jonathan has this amazing way of creating this unforgettable characters, a brilliant and breathtaking plot, and a timeless setting where you just feel transformed and transferred and teleported. I don't know what the right adjective is there, but you just feel like you're... Like you're in this amazing place. And he takes us on this journey in Sweep, the story of a girl and a monster that kids are going to love. And there are kids sitting in our classrooms today that are going to read this book. And it's going to be their favorite book that they've ever read. And I would imagine that like the sales for this book in like 20, 25 years are going to have like this peak because I think that all of the kids reading it today that fall in love with this book are going to buy this book when their kid becomes a middle grade reader. Just like parents today are buying Charlotte's Web for their kids and buying Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing for their kids. Like this book is going to be in the hearts of readers for all of time. Kids are going to love this book. Adults are going to love this book. Teachers are going to love this book. The, t the story of this girl and, and her monster, uh, it's just so good. And I hope that you give it a read. If you're looking for an amazing 2018 book to read, I highly recommend Sweep be put on your list. Um, because as soon as you read it, you're going to want to hand it to a kid. I found myself, as I was reading this book, uh, students were flashing into my head, uh, students who I've had, thinking like, oh man, Bree, she's a senior in high school right now, but, but she would have loved this book. And then I thought of Emily, who's a sophomore or junior in high school, like, oh, I wish I could have, I wish I could have handed her this book, because this would have been a book she would have loved. And there were a couple girls in my, in my class last year who would have devoured this book and then read everything, everything by Jonathan Oxier. A uh, kid I had, uh, Alec, an awesome kid, I think he's in college now. Alec would have loved this book. And I just am excited to get to know the kids that I have in my class more and more. Um, because I'm starting to see like, oh, I think this kid will like it. I think this kid will like it. I'm not sure, but I think that they will. But I have so many readers over the course of my career that I know would love Sweep. Check it out. It's really, really good. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have an awesome, awesome-tastic day. Happy, happy reading.